As a data analyst, you'll see this quite often in linear regression. But what is it, and why does it go from 0 to 1? Many people think that it's some kind of probability. If a model has an R-squared value of 0 0.6, they might think, oh, the model is 60% accurate, so out of 100 predictions, then at least 60% of the points will be accurate. But that is a huge misconception. To better understand it, let's take a look at this very simple scatter plot. If we just take the average of all Y values, we get this straight horizontal line. Obviously, this model doesn't explain the relationship between X and Y, because for every X, there's always going to be one value value of y, but the average is a good place to start. And if we calculate the sum of the squared residuals against the average of y, we have some kind of benchmark variance or the total variance. Can we do better? Of course. Now let's draw a line through our data points. As you can see, the data points don't line up perfectly like in real life where nothing is perfect. These deviations are the noise or the unexplained variance caused by some random error. We can calculate the sum of the squared residuals this time against the model itself. The ratio of SSE and SST gives you how much of the total variance in the data is unexplained by the model. But the R-square tells you how much of the total variance in the data is explained by the model. So we'll just have to find the complementary of that. For more data science videos, subscribe.